I can't believe I'm doing this. All this stolen metal will weigh heavy on my conscience. But I have no choice. I need money. For my family. My salary hasn't been paid for three months in a row. How else can we live? Bastards. They have forced people to take extreme measures by turning them into beggars and thieves. <laughs> Crisis, they say. And at the same time, they can afford to buy expensive cars. There is a security guard at the exit of the factory. I can't pass him with this bag. It's possible to carry out the theft only if I'm cautious. I can throw the bag over the fence, and then pick it up from the other side after leaving the factory. But when I arrived at the place, the bag was not there. Fuck, someone stole it. God, people are running wild, ready to steal from each other like rats. And now... I am among them. I had big plans for that money, but now I can forget about them. Heck, I'll have to borrow again. Sometimes I think it can't always be so shitty. You just have to hold on. It will not always be a dark cloud overhead. Sooner or later, something will happen. Some happy event, when fortune finally smiles on me. A long while I last, waiting for a miracle. But, without hope, I will stop resisting and push myself into the arms of evil, and fall deeper into the abyss. Well, what to do now? Go back home? I have to hurry. The last bus may come at any minute. old phone booth. If the last bus doesn't arrive, I can call a taxi, but I don't have enough money for that. It would be better not to go there. Recently a body was found there. A drunk man fell and froze to death creepy place. Warm steam rise. Hmm. Why not? These bricks are covered with a thick layer of ice. Yes! The ice on bricks... The valve is broken. There was a leak, but now everything is frozen and covered with ice. The last bus should come. If not, I have to walk home 12 kilometers on foot.
Yes, that is my bag. Where did you get it? Wait, on the bag are my initials. It's mine. You took it next to the factory's fence. Give it back to me. Whoa! Take it easy, man. Bastard. Hello. I wonder, what is a little girl doing so late in this area? Nothing. Oh, okay. How long have you been waiting for the bus? Probably an hour, maybe more. This is bad. I hope it comes. I wouldn't like to walk home, let alone at night with such nasty weather. Sometimes the last bus is very late, but it always comes. I really hope you're right. You can be sure. I often take this bus almost every day. The school is pretty far from here. I wonder what you do here almost every day. Or is it a secret? It's a secret. Oh, okay. I hope your parents know where you are. You must be frozen waiting here for an hour. No, I'm fine. You're shaking from the cold. And the jacket that you have is not good enough for this weather. Hold on. Here, take my scarf. Thanks. It's very kind of you. You know, I can tell you a secret. Okay, sure. You can trust me. There are many stashes and hiding places in this area. Here? Here is nothing except old, rusty junk and abandoned buildings. What could be hidden here? A lot of interesting things. I like this place. I walk around here often. I even have a secret place where I can hide and no one will ever find me. And even your parents? I don't think it's safe. I'm used to taking care of myself. I get it. Don't lose your scarf. Why is this shit happening to me all the time? Look at that bastard. He is calling somewhere. Probably he is some kind of worthless thief or drunkard or even a homeless person. He is not capable of anything except stealing from others. What a scumbag. Damn. He's going to take off with my bag. What a shame. My family needs money. I can't allow this. I need to figure out how to get my bag back from him. There's a hole in the broken glass. Holy shit! What just happened? I broke something, but... All I did was remove the stick leaning against the substation door. I shouldn't have done that. I have to put everything back as it was. Wow. It caught fire from the spark. Phew, that was close. Who the hell left the station in such despair? This is extremely irresponsible. Fuck. My hands are still shaking. Great. The door stays shut now.
a sewer manhole. It's completely covered with ice. Look at that bastard. He is calling somewhere. Damn. It's that bastard's half-smoked cigarette. It doesn't seem to have gone out yet. What do you want from me? Do you want a cigarette? Of course not. I tried it once, but I didn't like it. Good girl. Don't try that crap again. Hey, what did you say about these hiding places? There are a lot of them. I even found money under an old rusty barrel. Sometimes, you can find something in the cracks between the concrete slabs. Concrete slabs? Hmm, that's interesting. Listen, you said you've been waiting here a long time. Didn't you see where that man with the bag came from? He came from the factory. Shortly before you showed up. I knew it! Bastard! That is definitely my bag. Did he steal it? If there's something valuable in the bag, maybe you should call the police. I can't, because the bag is stolen. I, I, I mean, there is no sense in calling the police. They won't deal with such petty crimes. I need to detain the thief by myself. He looks dangerous. You shouldn't do this. It's better to wait for the bus. Maybe someone will help. I'm not afraid. I could handle him. I need to come up with something now. He could leave at any moment. The bottle is sticking out of the hole. Maybe it's covering something inside. There is something inside this hole, but I can't reach it. Um, fireworks? It seems that someone is already getting ready for the new year. Yeah, I'll teach you a lesson, how to be a good person. I just need to fire the rocket. Take this, you worthless piece of shit! Hey, get up! Hey, you hear me? Get up! Get up! Get up! Oh my god. Please, just not like this.
is dead. No, 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 no. What have I done? Oh no. Jesus, th this can't be. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you all right? He's dead. I killed him. I, I didn't know how it happened. I, I didn't want... It's like a terrible dream. I, I, I'm not a murderer. I, I didn't want to. I'm a good person. I... I can't go to jail. Please, please help me. I'm not a killer. He, he attacked me. You saw everything. It happened by chance. Look, I, I can't go to jail. I have a family. Look at this photo. This is my daughter. She is only five years old. She's a very nice girl. I, I love her very much. I, I can't leave her. It, it's not fair. Please, don't tell anyone what happened, okay? I, I'll cover up everything. Nobody will know. My life is in your hands. Please, I beg of you. Okay, okay. I won't tell anyone. I swear. All right. <sighs> Thank you. God, I need to get rid of the body somehow. God help me. A sewage hatch. It may solve the problem. How to open this thing? Oh my god, what have I done? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Do not be afraid. We'll all be over soon. I will hide everything. No one will know about it. You should not come close to the body. Will you dump him in the sewer? I don't know. Maybe. The old phone booth. Maybe I should call the police after all? Completely covered in ice. I can't open it. Now I have a glass with snow. He has a lighter in his pocket. It has a little gas, and it still works. I have hot water now. Looks 
looks like it worked. Let's try to open this thing. Now I need to hide all traces before the bus arrives. God, this is the end. What do I expect? She probably already reported to the police. I will die in prison. God, what have I done? What? Is that blood on the mirror? Shit! This is blood. I have his blood on my hand. Damn it. It could be on my coat and my jeans now. God, I need to do something about this. This is ordinary soap. Not what I need. Hmm. Usually the laundry soap is in this soap dish. Maybe it fell somewhere and slipped away? This is our washing machine. It is quite old and breaks often. I hope it's working now. Somewhere below, there should be a switch. Boxes with pummeling parts, paint cans, and all kinds of solvents. A lot of old trash. Nothing that I can use here. Hmm, nothing interesting here. No, this is not a laundry soap. It's just a box. Hmm, nothing in- Oh, I feel bad. I'm so nervous that I'm starting to feel sick. Oh. Damn. <coughs> 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 <sighs> oh. Oh god. This is the nail on which I punish bad photos. Thanks to this practice, I am able to vent my anger due to my failures. It may come in handy. This is equipment for developing photos. I used to do photography quite often. It was my favorite hobby. My books. A very modest library. But I'm trying to expand it. Part of it is technical literature, drafting, material resistance, government standards. But there is also fiction. 
Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451, for example. Mm. One of my favorites. And here is The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. This is me and Julia five years ago. She's pregnant in this picture. These are all Julia's books. They're all about sewing. She wants to change her job as a salesperson in a store. I never thought about other work than mine at the factory. I can't even imagine myself in a different role. And his bike. She loves to ride it. There's a lot of snow on the street right now, so she decided that she would ride at home. Oh no, there are blood stains everywhere. How did I not notice this before? I have to wash everything quickly. A brush for footwear. Ugh, pretty dirty. But I don't have another one. This is my bag with blueprints and all my equipment for drawing. Canisters of putty. I still can't start fixing the bathroom. Here too? Cut! Everything is in blood! Fuck! I'm not going to go anywhere. Maybe I should call the police? Oh god, why did this happen to me? Wow, what a beautiful drawing. Is it me and Annie? <laughs> it's nice. I hope she draws her mother too. Glass vase. This was a gift from my mother-in-law on our anniversary. Surprisingly, the flower is still not wilted. A picture of me and Julia. The photo was taken before our wedding. We walked and spent time together often. There were many pleasant moments, but now a lot of problems have piled up. I don't remember the last time we really got to relax together. Hey. No thanks, I'm full. I'm probably going to sleep now. Whew, I'm really tired today. How's Annie? Yeah, she is. Honey, if clothes were stained a little, how could it be cleaned quickly? No, no. There was only a small spot on it. I'll do it myself. I don't want to bother you. Hey. About my paycheck. Um, actually, I don't have it. They're delaying it again. The situation is the same in other factories as well. There's an economic crisis in the whole country. You know that. I'll figure something out, don't worry. I'll get the money. I stole some metal at the factory. I, I can sell it. Oh, come on. Don't start this again. A grater. Julia probably just used it. I don't think she needs it anymore. She's washing the dishes now. Oh, I forgot to take out the trash. Here's a can. It can come in handy. This is Annie's toy. 
It is old, and I don't even remember where it came from. Hmm, there's something inside. Can't change anything, she said. I have devoted almost my whole life to engineering. She doesn't understand this. cleaned it as much as possible. It won't work without laundry soap. Laundry detergent. Oh, the box is empty. Damn! In such cases, Julia uses grated laundry soap. This is ordinary soap. Not what I need. Julia must not suspect anything. I can't take the grater right in front of her. I need to distract her somehow. Oh crap, I I'm sorry, I, I think I broke our vase. It was an accident, I I'm so sorry. No, this is not a laundry soap. It's just a box. Hmm, nothing interesting. Boxes with pumbling... seems to be something here in the gap under the cabinets, but I can't reach it. Laundry soap. What is it doing here? Hmm. It seems that traces of small teeth marks tell me that Annie decided that soap is a big candy. I still have plans for soap in its current form. After that, I'll rub it. I've rubbed the soap on the brush. Now I have a soapy brush. Thank God the code is clean now. Now, I need to put the pants inside. Okay, now I need to pour water inside.
Everything is ready for washing. There's no knob. Only the stud sticks out. I can't turn it with my hands. I can't turn the stud with my hands. Hmm, okay. Great, it works. I hope there won't be a spot left in my pants. I don't fucking care, just... Just leave me alone, alright? Go away! Ugh, I didn't sleep all night. I kept waiting for the door to be knocked on, but nothing happened. It's weird, but I can still be arrested at any time. What if the girl didn't tell anyone? She is quite strange. My hopes are slim, but so far this is all that saves me from panicking. Don't ask. You already know. And you? Well, in the current economic crisis, a car is a luxury. But I can see from your face that you're up to something. Are you proposing to steal it? In front of Petrovich's face? What? What? Look at the old man reprimanded. Hell, it sounds difficult and risky. Shit. What? Let's just cross out the number and write another. 
but how could I make it? I need an hour at least. Hold on, wait, wait! I can't concentrate on anything. I keep thinking about that evening. That man. The dead body. The girl. What awaits me tomorrow? Ordinary life, as if nothing had happened, or... Prison. Or death. This is our tea break table. Water, a boiler, and sugar tea and coffee inside the cabinet. This is our tea break table. There are a lot of books here. I'll take a few. My good old briefcase. What? What is it? Oh, Annie. What a cute toy. Do you mind if I take it? <laughs> Thanks. Hey. Can I ask you something strange? Listen, if you needed to quickly duplicate a blueprint, how would you do it? No, no, I, I need a hand-drawn duplicate. <laughs> That's ingenious. Thanks. An old cabinet with old documents. It's falling apart. Ivan Polyu, physicist and electrician. He was a broken cabinet leg. It is fixed with electrical tape. The cabinet seems to hold in place and does not fall apart. I think if I remove the tape, it'll collapse. Broken mop. I don't think anyone else needs it. Boris works here. There are many tools. I don't think he'll mind if I borrow a wrench. Wait a minute. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Boris, you've chained all your tools? You son of a bitch. You're the one who steals the most. Well, it looks like I won't get very far with the wrench this way. Ah, shit! Ah, fuck! Ah, my back! I hope it was worth it. This can saw something wooden. Nice vice. If I need to fix something, I can use this. Done.
it worked. The cabinet stands firm. A glass. Hmm. Let's try one idea. A light under glass, an original blueprint, and a blank sheet over the glass. The drawing becomes transparent, and a blank sheet, I can simply redraw everything. I will install a light bulb here when all the other items are ready. Hmm, okay. Fine, only the last step remains. Oh my god, it worked! I see the blueprint through the blank sheet. Now I just need to redraw everything, being the lines that I see. Done. I did it. Done. The duplicate is ready. Okay. Now we need to wait while Petrovich makes enough defective parts according to the new blueprint. I didn't. Sorry. What? Why didn't you tell me before? Olga, why are you standing here? Do you need something? What? What are you talking about? None of your business. What's happening? Did you call me? Damn. Boris is there. Directly in front of the table where the duplicate blueprint is. I can't replace it while he's there. How can I get this dunce Boris out of here? Maybe we should tell him everything? Our plan. Let's share the profit with him. How many defective parts has Petrovich already made? Fuck. What a mess we've gotten ourselves into. Petrovich. He too will be reprimanded because of us. Perhaps they will even withhold his salary. I have to come up with something. Right now. Yes, but she told me about it just a few minutes ago. I think she knows what we are doing here. Don't talk nonsense. She just likes me as a person. I'm married after all. 
far as I know, three times. I think it's pretty sad. I feel sorry for her. Fuck you, you jerk. You know, you got us into this mess. You figure out how to get us out of it. How's it going? Ah, oh, it's you, Alex. I'm trying to figure out the blueprint here. The crooked hand engineer probably drew this. I can't understand a thing. Maybe I can help? Let me see. No, I'm smart enough to figure it out. I wonder who drew this. Ah, this is Mark's signature. Now it's clear why this drawing is so bad. Even I, a worker without higher education, would have drawn it better. Um, I think you're holding the drawing upside down. What? Are you going to work on this machine? This is a pretty old one. It's a piece of junk and breaks often. I advise you to work on the machine that is farther away. It's the same time. I've known him for many years. I can't say anything bad about him. What are the rumors? What? Hey, Boris. Have you ever thought that the tools that you chain to the wall might be needed by someone? But it takes half a day to do it that way. How's it going? Are you working alone here? I mean, is there anyone else on the shop floor? Actually, we're also getting screwed. The salary has not been paid for the last three months. Yeah, I heard about it. How is your family? Not yet. She's only five years old. Oh, excuse me. I won't distract you anymore. Listen, I want to tell you something. Oh, forget it. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, it looks like I won't get very far with the wrench this way. This can saw something metal. 
large lathe, type 1K62. Looks pretty old, just like all the other machines here. Hmm. Is that the power button? It looks like the machine is not working. A large lathe, type 1K62. This is where the machine control panel is located. This control panel is covered with a plate that is bolted. Well, it looks like I won't get... That's right. Now I'm free to leave with the wretch. Yes, it worked. Hey, I fixed it. The machine, 1K62. That one over there. You can work on it now. Oh, come on, Boris. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hey. Listen, I got overexcited back there and and I'm I'm really sorry I yelled at you. I don't know what came over me. I, Altogether, I'm. Uh, I apologize for what happened. Come on, stop praising me. Uh, actually, I'm not a good person. I'm. Uh, Olga, what do you think of Boris? Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, I talked to Olga. You know, she doesn't think very highly of you. I think you both have different views on life. I don't think it would have worked out between the two of you. Just don't be upset. I'm sure you will meet a good woman with whom you will be successful. Don't worry, the number of defective parts is not critical. Place them in that container, and then someone will pick them up. You can keep working. Just replace it with the 6mm drill bit.
Do you like to drink tea? How do you go to the toilet? Sorry, I'll stop bothering you. Hello. How goes it? Don't you get bored? I mean, sitting there all the time? Sorry, I didn't want anything. I was just curious. What are these boxes? Can I get through to the exit? Have a nice day. Well, you know, I'm, I, I'd like to look at the springs in those boxes over there. Um, I, I need them for work. We're developing a new device. Um, and, and I think those springs will come in handy. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, of course. Hey, Boris. Well, he's apparently pretty busy. It's better not to disturb him. Petrovich apparently left to look for the right drill bit. God, what are we doing? We deceive each other. We steal like rats. Hey. Are you aware that the guard at the exit is checking all bags? Yes, but he even checks everyone's pockets. I think this is too much. Every day we are searched like criminals. Yes. Excellent. Now the main thing is that he doesn't notice anything. I think it's pretty cold outside, and I have no desire to go out. There is still a lot to do. I have already prepared all the metal parts to take them out of the plant, but the security guard won't let me through without checking.
sorry. I thought it would cheer you up. Thanks, man. But I'm not happy with what we did. We almost created big problems for Petrovich. I'm not sure we'll get very much. Give him a kite. As a child, I had a kite. It was my favorite toy, man. Like, seriously, like, any time when I ran super fast, it felt like all my wishes, desires, but they, they would come true. It just, it felt like that every time I saw my kite fly high in the air. Yes, but <laughs> my wishes didn't come true. No, you can go. I still have some things to do. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm waiting here, hoping to meet you. I thought we agreed that we would never see each other again. Yes, but I thought if I helped you, you can help me too. What do you mean? I have a conflict at school. It's quite serious. I'm afraid I might be harmed. Tomorrow morning, I have to go to the garages near school. If I don't go, it will be worse for me. My classmates will find me anyway. But if you would come and protect me... Oh, God. Why don't you go to your parents? Or to the principal? I tried. Nobody cares. Are you serious? Doesn't your father care at all? He's in jail. Mom works several jobs. I don't see her at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, listen, I, I didn't know that. Everything is going to be fine. I'll come, okay? I'll come. 